Let's take a look at identifying exponential functions from data. First of all, let's review the different things that we can look for in a set of data to determine what type of function it would be. So we have linear, and in that situation we look for a constant change in both the x and the y values, going up by 3, going down by 6, whatever. Quadratic, we look for a constant change in the x values and a constant second difference in the y values. And that's a topic for another video, but something a little bit different to determine a quadratic. And then today we're going to focus on the exponential. And in that case, we look for a constant change in the, y in the x values and a constant ratio in the y. In other words, we're looking for multiplying by the same thing over and over in the y values. That will mean it's an example of an exponential function. So let's go ahead and take a look at these examples right here. First one, we have to look for a constant change in the x. OK, so 2 to 12, we're going up by 10. 12 to 22, up by 10 up by 10, up by 10. So in the x's, we're good. We have a constant change there. Don't forget to check that. Sometimes they might try and trip you up. Then we look at the f of x, or the y values. And in this case, to get from 5 to 20, we're multiplying by 4. Okay. So now let's check and see. 20 to 80, that would be times 4 as well. 80 to 320 would be times 4. 320 to 1280. Yep, that's times 4 as well. So in this case, this one would be an example of some exponential data. Okay, then let's take a look at this next one. For this one, we've got this decimal here. And whenever I see a decimal and some other whole numbers, what I will typically do is go to the whole numbers and see if I can't find a pattern there and then go back and see if I can apply it to the decimal. So starting here, if I look at the 4 to 8, to get 8 from 4, I'd multiply by 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. All right, let's check that pattern. 8 times, ooh, 8 times 3 is 24. And 24 times, eek, 24 times 2, 3, okay? This is not exponential because we don't have that constant ratio there. Let's take a look at this next one. Okay, in this one, another example where we've got some decimal stuff going on. So let's go over here and start with the 6 and the 24. So 6 to 24, we're multiplying by 4. Then 24 to 96, well, let's check. Is 24 times 4 96? Sure enough, it is. Okay, so I'm in good shape there. Now we want to work back. So to figure out if 1.5 times 4 is 6, you could do that. Or we could work backwards and say, okay, well, what if I divide by 4? So if you take 6 divided by 4, we do indeed get 1.5. So 1.5 times 4 then would be 6. And then let's try that last one. So we have 1.5. If I divide it by 4, I should get 0.375. And sure enough, I do. So I have that constant ratio all the way through. I'm multiplying by 4, multiplying by 4, multiplying by 4, all the way through. So yes, indeed, this is exponential. Okay, And I just glanced as well. The x values are constant, so we're good there as well. Okay, Don't forget to check those x values. Again, here we're good, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to take a look. We'll start right here, 1 to 6. 6 to 12. Ooh, wait a minute. 6 to 12 is times 2. Then we've got... Oh, 12 to 18. Well, we know it's not exponential because we've already discovered that the there's no common ratio there. We're not multiplying by the same thing. But if I go back here, well, this would be times 6. 1 6 times 6 would give us 1. So then that's times 6. But here's where we run into trouble. 6 times 12 
our 6 times 2 is 12, not 6 times 6, and then 12 times, not even sure what that would be, 1.5? 12 times 1.5 would be 18, so times 1.5, so we do not have exponential, so we call that good. All right, so identifying exponential functions from data, what we want to do is look for a constant ratio in the y values. In other words, multiplying by the same thing. In our two examples here, it turned out that they both were times 4, but it could be times anything. If they're different, if there's any two that are different, then it's not an example of exponential. Hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.